Hey folks, it's Mark with Fire Mountain Outdoors. We're taking a look at a new pistol today. This is the Para Ordnance Expert Commander. This is a four and a quarter inch barrel with an aluminum frame and a steel slide. Should be a great carry pistol. Hey, stick around. We're gonna have our first shots fired with it. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, you can tell by the drips that it is raining right now. That's the nature of the business in the Northwest. We get to deal with the rain. Now, this is an aluminum frame and a steel slide. It has the shorter four and a quarter barrel. We are clear. One of the cool things about this weapon is that this Expert Commander came equipped with a fiber optic front sight, which is super easy to acquire. And uh, it also has a beaver tail safety and, of course, a skeletonized hammer, extended safety. The fit and finish is really nice on this. The price, they just offered a $100 rebate on this, and uh, I couldn't beat the price. Been looking for a lighter, smaller 1911. I think this is gonna fit the bill. So, uh, you know, one of the things that I am gonna point out, uh, it does have a plastic mainspring housing, and the followers on the magazines are also plastic. Uh, they save some money there. But I think everyone's going to that these days, so it uh, should be durable. Heck. Block makes whole pistols out of plastic, so let's uh, load up this magazine and we're going to go shoot it. Well, let's ring some steel with this thing. Probably shot, shot as good as the shooter. I hung up my gong, so I'm gonna go knock them down. Let's put another magazine down range. Pretty optimistic shooting at the 50 yard gong, but I'm a perpetual optimist. Very, very light. Doesn't buck hard at all. I think it's gonna be a good pistol. Worked 100%. Maybe I'll stick up a target and we'll print it on paper. That'll really just show how bad of a pistol shot I am, but we'll do that just for your sake. Well, I got a target set up at 25 feet. I think I'd be really happy with that. It's got eight really big holes in it. You gotta, you gotta love a 45 and big holes and soggy target paper. I'm still liking it. I had a couple of flyers. I think that this uh, this particular weapon, I really like the lightness of it. You can't beat the slimness of a 1911 for a carry piece. Uh, the aluminum frame shaves off a lot of weight. Still a single stack, uh, eight plus one. It's got a full size grip, fits my hand pretty comfortably. The things uh, functioned flawless. Couldn't beat the price. This was well under $500 right out the door. I really like that fiber optic front sight. For me and for what I intend to use it for, I think that this uh, this Para Expert Commander, it's a win. Just something about 1911s that I really, really like. Uh, I've got several of them. I've never shot a Para Ordnance. 
And this is a, a particular weapon that I've seen on sale quite a bit lately. I've been really curious to see how they handle. Uh, watching Mark's results here, just here just a few minutes ago, uh, looked pretty pretty interesting. So I'm just gonna see how bad my particular groups are with this pistol because uh, I, I can't shoot for a darn. But anyway, we're gonna give it a try. And I was all over the place. I was up and to the right and I was low and to the left. But I wouldn't want to be standing in front of this thing. But shot really smooth in those front fiber optic sights. I don't know if Mark can zoom in on this at all. If there's any way. But gosh, those are really nice. Yeah, I do really, I really, really do like that sight picture. Um, you know, and the trigger's not bad. It's not the greatest trigger, but out of the box, it's pretty good. It wouldn't take a whole lot to, uh, to get really proficient with that. Got a real nice weight to it. Very nice. And here in the Pacific Northwest, we can wash our firearms while we shoot them. It's kind of like the dishwasher. All clean. There you go. <laughs> well, there we have it. First shots fired from the para ordnance. Expert commander. What do you think, Bob? I think for the price, you got one heck of a good pistol. I can't really think of a lot of pistols where you get that much pistol for that kind of price. You know, I think that any collection is incomplete without a 1911. I mean, if you have, if you have more than two or three handguns and you don't have a, a, a 1911, then I think your collection's lacking. So uh, I, I love shooting a 1911 and this is no exception. I really like the, the combination of this light alloy frame and the steel slide make a really packable combination, but uh, just a really good balance of recoil absorption and lightweight carry it around all the time. Right. Uh, didn't really notice any added recoil firing this pistol at all. Uh, the four and a quarter inch barrel uh, made it actually quite pleasurable to shoot. Uh, when you get a shorter barrel than that with the aluminum frame, I have one with my Kimber. Uh, usually after about a box of shells, that's where I'm like, yeah, I can put it away and move on to something else for the rest of the day. But this one, a little bit more comfortable. I liked it. I really like the fiber optic front sight. That's uh, that it's really easy to pick up, and it's simplified by the lack thereof on the back. Nice matte black rear blade sight on the back, mm -hmm. matched with that glowing green. Yeah, I have front sight envy. I yeah. really like the way that that looked on that. It's a nice setup. You know, the trigger's not the best. I mean, it's not a match grade trigger right out of the box. Uh, this weapon's clear. We're going to go ahead and test that trigger and see what we come out at. Well, most people, if you're going to be carrying condition one with a 1911, you're not going to want a match grade trigger anyway. But uh, but you're still going to want something nice, crisp, and clean. That said that it broke at six pounds. It's a little bit higher than our previous readings. We're going to get another one. Yeah, it's showing that it breaks right at six. So, which... This isn't a match gun because of the short barrel. It's not something that you're really going to use in competition. It's going to be, it's going to be a carry piece, a self-defense piece. So uh, I'm not averse to a heavier trigger in a self-defense piece where you're going to be using it in stressful situations. Right. So no, I think uh, I think it was a great value. I think it was a good pistol. You know, it's got the full size grip, so it's eight plus one. Yeah, of 45. You could debate the merits of 45 versus 40 versus 9 all day long, but I I don't think you would be uh, under weapon to be carrying this. No, uh, the, the, one of the great strong things with the 1911 is how thin 
that grip is when you're carrying that and that's up against your body. You don't get that nice thin grip with a Glock 19 no. or a Glock 17. Uh, this is a hundred and you know, free 104 year old design, but they are just as comfortable, if not more comfortable now than what they were then. It's there's a reason why they're still making these things. That's right. That's because they're great. So if you're thinking about a, a 1911 for your collection and you're looking for a carry piece, I think that this uh, para ordnance expert commander is is definitely worth your consideration. The price point was enough to make me spring for it, and I don't regret spending my own money on this. Right, and uh, it's definitely got me considering adding uh, number five 1911 to my collection. So. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching. And remember, you can't take back a bullet, so always be safe. You never want to wish that you could take that bullet back. And if you like this video, what do you want us to do, Bob? Please like and subscribe, and make sure you share this video. If you want to see more great videos like this, we've got to have some clout with the, uh, the big boys, you know, that uh, make all the decisions. So... You give us those stats, we can bring you some more great content like this. Excellent. So, as always, thanks for watching.